Hi everyone, Dan Julian here, nurse practitioner for Dan Aesthetics Medical, and our clinic is located here in Ottawa, Canada. Today I'm going to be addressing a question that I'm getting asked more and more frequently these days, so I might as well talk about it here with you guys, and that is, Dan, how do I address sagging skin around the neck and the jowls? Let's get into it. So the way I'm going to approach this is the level of efficacy, which indirectly affects the level of cost. So the first one's going to be skincare products. Okay, so my number one and two products that you should use for skincare in order to prevent the sagging of skin are going to be your SPF and your retinol. And let me clarify that as well. So if you already have skin sagging issues, so if you already have jowling, if you already have turkey neck, and you want to tighten that, this is not going to do anything to reverse it, but it's definitely going to do a good job at slowing down the degradation of your elastin and collagen. So if you start using it now uh, and you're using it every day in five years from now, you'll look better than if you didn't now, use it. The way it. SPF works is it's basically slowing down the degradation of your elastin and collagen. You lose 1% of elastin and collagen every year from the age of around 21 on. And by exposing yourself to the sun every day, it definitely speeds up the process. Actually, it speeds it up by 80 to 90%. So putting SPF on is definitely going to help slow that down. Retinol is the product that's actually going to help stimulate new collagen and keep your elastin. Number two, which is a combination of prevention and also a very mild form of treating skin laxity, is microneedling. Okay, so microneedling, the way it works is, it's essentially controlled aeration of the skin. There are these little needles that go in and out and they control the amount of damage to the skin. And your brain goes and heals that area, which essentially uh, stimulates collagen production and starts tightening the skin. Now the results aren't dramatically visible, but they do a pretty good job of tightening the skin and the more often you do it, the better results. And it's something that's pretty affordable for a lot of people. Um, so it's an option and it's my number two. So before we go into any energy devices, we have to talk about injectables because I'm an injectables guy and Radius and Sculpture are both amazing to stimulate collagen, thicken the skin and tighten the skin without surgery, without expensive energy devices. And it's a great adjunct if you wanna use it with an energy device. So the way this works is these are biostimulators. These products, as they absorb into the body, they stimulate and produce new collagen, which will essentially thicken and tighten the skin. It's amazing. And with Radius especially, what you can do is blend it down to a hyper dilute Radius. And I usually use a four to one ratio. And what that'll do is just basically give you a really watery substance, something like this. And essentially you can just place it anywhere on the body essentially, except for the eyes and lips. And what it's going to do is thicken the skin. It's amazing. And it's a great adjunct to any other procedure. So this is a big one that you cannot forget about. And it's also very affordable. So I'm going to explain how all three differ because I know for a lot of people it all sounds the same, but they do vary. And I need you guys to understand this before you need to make a decision. So let's get My into it. My name's Dan Julian and I'm a nurse practitioner for Dan Aesthetics Medical. And this is our clinic. And six months ago we opened up and we already have a wait list. And I wanna share that with you. My Patreon account is going to show you how to become an advanced injector. Not only that, I'm gonna show you how to grow yourself on social media and market yourself. And if you want, we now have a shadowing opportunity for you to join me here for two days. So if you're interested, I encourage you to act soon. Otherwise, I'll see you on my Patreon account and hopefully you can take your business off to the next level. So let's start off with ultrasound technology, which is also known as all therapy. All therapy is basically a handheld device where the provider places it to the hand, neck, or décolleté area. And what it does is produces ultrasound wavelengths down to the deeper tissues of the skin. And as a result, it heats it up and starts stimulating and producing new collagen. What's cool is that it works for every skin tone, color, and texture, and there's almost no downtime. Just a little bit of redness, and after that, you're good to go within probably a few hours. You usually only need one treatment. Maybe you can get a booster after six months. I say booster, I don't even know if people call that, but another top up at six months, but often enough people do it just once a year or even once every two years. The downside is that it's not gonna do anything for kind of like skin texture. Uh, so if you're looking for fine lines or anything like that, it's not gonna fix anything like that. It's really designed to help tighten the skin. So next is microneedling with radiofrequency. 
So the way radial frequency microneedling works is you're getting the controlled trauma from the microneedling, just like we talked before. And now we're adding radial frequency, which are, is essentially radial waves down each needle, which will then produce heat at the deeper layers of the skin, kind of like the ultrasound, just in a different way. So you're getting kind of like two ways to treat the skin compared to the ultrasound, which is one really effective way. I guess the bonus of the microneedling and the radio frequency is that you can use it for other treatments as well. You can use it for scarring of the skin, fine lines of the skin. There's also signs that it can help with uh, maybe some sunspots where ultrasound is just really affecting the tightening of the deeper surfaces out of the skin. Finally in this category, lasers, which is a CO2 or carbon dioxide laser. And what it does is literally burns off the outer layer of the skin and underneath you've got fresh new cells that grow and provide new plumping skin. It also stimulates collagen. So it, it does a variety of wonders for the skin. It's actually probably going to give you the best overall treatment if you're looking at resurfacing the skin, fixing fine lines, scars, skin tightening, uh, hyperpigmentation. It's, it's the best option at addressing all of them. The problem with it is that it's going to produce significant downtime. You're gonna get oozing of the skin, you're going to have crusting, um, and that'll last a good seven days, maybe longer. So you're looking at almost two weeks of not going out in public whenever you're doing that. But if you have the money and you're willing to do a one-time treat-all, that might be a solution for you. In my opinion, if you're looking for skin sagging treatments only, uh, then I would probably opt for all therapy or your radio frequency and microneedling because you're gonna get pretty similar results without any downtime, or minimal downtime at least. It's because all these other energy devices can only go so far. Realistically, I tell clients that you're looking at a 30% improvement over about a year's time of treatment, and that's gonna be a really nice result. But if you're looking for the real deal and you need more than 30% improvement, then you may wanna consider having a surgical neck lift. So that's it from me, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till the next time, take care of yourselves, exercise daily, and please be nice to absolutely everyone. Take care.